Okay, we're going to start programming with Penguin. I'm using Penguin version 0 0.11, available at penguin.googlecode.com. Talked last time about some functions that are available for controlling a penguin. Things like forward, left, backward, right. You can also use negative numbers with these things. So for instance, if you did forward negative 200, that's exactly the same as doing backward 200, left with a negative number. It's just like doing right with the positive number. And back with a negative number is just like forward. You can also move the penguin around by dragging. You just click on top of the penguin and drag. You can also drag and move the whole canvas, including the penguin, if you wanted to move around your drawing and see something that was off the screen. If you're interested in more commands, you can go to the website and take a look there. Go to penguin.googlecode.com, click on wiki, and then click on getting started. There's a list of pretty much all the commands that are available. You can read through those and, and give them a try. Some more interesting ones, like pen up. Sometimes you might want to draw or move the penguin without actually drawing, so you can pull the pen up, and then when you move, you won't draw anything and then you can put the pen back down if you decide you want to start drawing again. I talked about reset before. Reset is kind of like a combination of uh, two other commands. Home will take the penguin back to the center, back to the direction that he was facing originally, and I believe it also resets the uh, scaling on the canvas. Scaling you can do with the mouse wheel, uh, zoom in and out with the mouse wheel. You can also get that here in the view menu. Zoom in, zoom out, and then zoom to 100%, or just do home, and that reset the zoom factor. And then the other part of reset is clear, which clears out the canvas, but doesn't actually move the penguin around. And of course, reset is like a combination of both. Clears out the canvas and moves the penguin back to the home. Another way of figuring out more commands is by using the menus. When you do use the some of the menu options, uh, it will put the command, the equivalent command, down here into the interpreter. So for instance, if you wanted to change your avatar, oops, you can just use the menu option, and then uh, this is the command that you would use. So if you wanted to do, put this into your code, you can use those. Another thing you might be interested in is changing the color that you use to draw. You can use this color option in the pen menu. Select the color in the color dialog. And then any lines that you draw will be in that color. And then this is the command that the menu had thrown down. What this is, it's the red, green, and blue values kind of like using a uh, in a web page if you've done any uh, web programming. So you can change the different values. Maybe if you wanted a color that's a, some, some shade of red, you do like that. Or if you wanted something that's blue. Oops. Another way to select colors is by using the names of the colors. So if you did want an exact blue, note that the name of the color does need to be in quotes, and that when you do that it does return to you the actual number value of the color that it's using. And there's a lot of color names that are available, like light, space, blue. You can also change the width of the line that you draw. Make it thicker or thinner. So take a look at the command list on the website, on the wiki, and go through the menus, take a look at some of those commands and see what you can do with those. And check back in for the next podcast. Thanks for watching.